Hey guys, what's up? My name is Stefan Kunz and I'm starting this brand new series called ABC. It's easy, it's like counting up to three. You guess it, it's all the letters of the alphabet. And guess what? I would love for you to be a part of this series. The idea behind the series is actually to encourage everyone to research new ways to write a letter in different fonts. It's a fun way to practice your lettering and at the end you'll have a cheat sheet with some different styles and variation of fonts that you can always keep up as inspiration. Don't forget to share it with the community hashtag Stefan Letters so we get all to see what you did and we can share these uh, inspiration and ideas with all of us. So for the first round I'm gonna use the iPad Pro with the Procreate app and the Apple Pencil but hey feel free to use anything you like. Grab a pen, grab a paper, take your sketchbook, like use Play-Doh, use feathers or whatever material you feel comfortable experimenting with. So let's get started. So I'm just going to open the app, the Procreate app, and just going to select a new size. So I love to draw on the A3, and I'm just going to turn that around, make it big, and just going to divide that into 4 times 4, so 16 layers. I'm just going to use a sketch pencil, so it's actually not different, too much different from drawing out. And so I just know about here, that should be the half of the paper. And you know what? I'm just going to return that all around. We're going to start off with a simple A. So this A here is really basic. And this is actually how you would write a normal A. There we go. Plain and simple. This is my number one. Number two. We're gonna do a Sarah styled A. So just again, I'm gonna go ahead and just try out like basic shape. And I'm gonna do like, because this is up is low or is thin, I'm just gonna do a right here. So this still would be a sans serif styled A, but we're just gonna add those serifs. And I can just pick this up here. This is the great thing about the iPad. You can just do a little change here. There we go. So as soon as you get started, you're gonna see like first one, two, three, four are just easy, but then it gets really hard. So we're gonna do a script style font. So we just have all from every font family, we have like an A. So this one's gonna be a small cap, and I'm gonna be do a playful way of doing an A. Because of this loop here, it's actually not as easy to, to figure that out. Um, and we'll just, but it's all right. We're trying out different A's. Let's see, um, let's do a 3D A. So I'm gonna do a little bit, like help me get this A right here. And so this is the box that I'm drawing this A inside. And that's how you can use 3D to, to draw. So I'm just gonna draw it in here. And then you can draw the either the same here, but I'm I'm just gonna use that line there and here to get back. And there we go. Now I can erase all of these lines. I can also delete or delete erase these lines here um, to only keep the rest. And now I'm just gonna fill in those parts here so you can. So we actually get to see that better. Next up, number five. Number five. Um, So 
So I also have my trouble with knowing with the script style font. Right now I'm number six, um, I got 10 more to go and it's getting harder. As soon as it gets harder, you don't want to skip this step. So it's easy to go back to look at some other fonts and so on, but focus your mind on, on just thinking of forms, thinking of elements and how you can actually put them together. So right now I'm thinking of a balloon. So what I'm thinking of, actually don't ask me why I'm thinking of a balloon. But I'm thinking of like something holding a balloon, like a helium balloon, and um, it's going up. So I'm just drawing out the shape here. Um, and I want to make it really fat, have this kind of tight balloon wrap here. Alright, so now I'm just erasing these parts here. And I'm going to actually fill this whole balloon in black after this balloon I thought of the Eiffel Tower and um, because it actually has the shape of an A and you can actually take forms like that uh, into consideration anything that looks like an A can be an A so why not use real shape like architectural shapes Let's be honest, the Eiffel Tower is a nice, really nice place. There you go, the Eiffel Tower. All right, number nine. Bear in mind that I've practiced this a lot and already have done like a lot of fonts, but still, I'm needing some inspiration. A's. Gothic A's. So I actually don't know how to do a Gothic A, so I'm just gonna look that up. So whenever I'm learning a whole new brush set, you can go to that font, you can check out like a Gothic um, font here. Oh, there we go. There we go. So I'm gonna take a screenshot. I'm gonna go back here and you can do a insert flat image. There we go. So really bad quality, don't worry about that. That's kind of the skeleton of the letter. So what I have here is I have a brush from Ian Barnard. It's a black letter textured brush. draw it out here with the smaller version and then you, as you can see I already made some mistakes so of course now we have different options that we can go at um, there's also the smaller a that's probably more like smaller one here lovely script style again all right looking good looking good always nice to see the overview some from time to time just so you see already what you got I just saw that in the preview in a shape right, let's use a big shape a right there pretty much to a big. 
Here we go. All right. Last four. So now I really want to go to Pinterest and I'll just go through my lettering inspiration. So that's the first part where I'll go at. Um, I can see some really cool A here. I can see some really cool fonts. Like a Mona line would be cool. And for example, you see here, there are all kind of different ones. Uh, like there's an A, there's a C. And I actually can go through same letters, like for example, this D here, which I really like. It uh, looks like a 3D style D and this kind of fake font, plus this one also really love. I can use these as inspiration of how my A would look like. So let's try this out. Um, let's try out this, this fake 3D A. Okay, this one's actually harder than I thought. Um, just going back, checking out this D here. Um, I like that this here goes behind it and goes in front of it. So in this type here, you always kind of connect these. So it's like a pyramid kind of shape. And what you do is you try to lay them on and make them work together. So every part that is below, like here, you would mark them like dark, like really dark. And you're gonna have four kinds of shades. Like the first one is really dark, that's the lowest part. Um, just make sure that you erase everything that is not, that shouldn't be in here. And then the next part is like a lighter form and I'm just gonna put the opacity down, make it a little bit larger like that. It's not about perfection, it's just getting these ideas out, like having a, a sheet where you have tons of different inspiration on it. So you can always go back. It's not perfect, but it's just here for the ideas. So I'm just gonna do one. another one was with the droplets. So we saw one here as well, where like it kind of had some drops going down. So what I'm doing here now is I'm just gonna draw out any kind of A. It really doesn't matter here. What I'm gonna do as well is just, I'm gonna look for an A. What I have here in my Pinterest board is lettering A, B, C. So this one here actually is really cool. Oops. Um, so I'm just gonna download image, go back here. So you can always find this on my Pinterest board. Here we go. So I'm just gonna take up this here. So now we're just gonna add these droplets. So what I do is I'll keep on using this brush here, but I can also switch to a little brush that I made. I'm just gonna add these droplets like, droplets are always heavy at the bottom, so you make the round go bigger. Um, I'm just going through again to see if I, if I missed something. Oh, I like this one. This brings me on an idea that I want to try out. So you see this is kind of a minimalistic A. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna do a minimalistic A. All right, last one. So it's an A, it starts off and it goes around. So I'm just gonna add those.
Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. I've learned a ton in this round already, like after four or five letters, it's already getting hard. You have to think about new things, but you have to push yourself as well. So don't forget, don't just grab on to what the internet has to offer, but always go back. And again, thank you so much for watching. I hope you were inspired. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. I'll be posting more of these series right here and um, enjoy your day.